Squad, my name is Joshua Wolf and welcome back to Elder Scroll Online. The story because I want to keep it separate from the PvV with my friends. That's why they're not here. Well, they technically speaking, they are here, but they're doing something else. So yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, so this cave system. Okay, right here then. Going in. Yeah, there's Ethan. Yeah, he's still bugging me. Oh, 18. I have to get to all the way to 18. Well, I have to work on that later. But anyway, back to the story. I hear familiar footfalls. Come closer, Vestage. Yeah, it's about time, old man. Welcome to the Harborage, Vestage. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself could hope for. How did you find it? Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. Uh huh. So, what are we gonna do with Coal Harbor? Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. <sighs> do we have to do a history lesson? Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. All right. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Very well. I will grab a chair. <laughs> Okay, I'm here, Prophet. Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. My part in the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. Walk faster, it was there man. I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid, living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. Awesome. So what does this have to do with me? I only know that you are important, Vestige. The Scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. The uh, Five Companions? The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hope to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. Dragonborn, eh? The Dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true Dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. Who was this leader? Baron Aquilarius, the son of Colobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Varum was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. Ah, oh, okay. Go on. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself, and oh. witnessed their fate. Awesome. Alright, so who are these? 
five warriors. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abner Tharn, a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the traitor, the king of worms, a powerful necromancer, and your executioner. So that's the, my executioner. That's my executioner, huh? This, this tall, high elf. This hidey mighty elf that killed me. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy butchering you. Alright. What next? These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. How can this amulet of whatever turn him into a dragonborn? Many Marco convinced Varen that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the dragonborn. Why did Varen want to become dragonborn? By tradition, only the dragonborn can lay claim to the ruby throne and rule as the one true emperor by divine right. Varen conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne. But unless he became Dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Tell me about my... soon-to-be-slain enemy. Manamarco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Varen to perform the ritual you are about to witness. What happened when they performed the ritual? Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. All right. Kill the traitor! It is. The Dragonfire Brazier. Manimarco, you certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as Emperor. You have my word. It better work, Manimarco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. Yeah. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself dragonborn. Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky is opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! This isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Lady Marco, what have you done? Gulliver fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Moloch Baal, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh, forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! Well, well, that's how you got power. The ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion allowing Manamarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the Dark Anchors and initiate the Plane Melt. What went wrong? Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nan. 
So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamriel would be protected from the Daedra. So what happened next? Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. What happened to the other companions? Varen was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Baal. What about the um, other two? Tharn remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Trivio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Menemarko and his worm cult. How did you end up in Cold When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamaka got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. They saw you as a threat. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamaka feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. All right. Well, I can't really walk. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was born by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Molog Baal's dark anchors pierce the tall veil and seek to draw near into the depths of Cold Harbor. These terrible engines of destruction have been appearing all throughout Tamriel. Whoa. I mean, that looks pretty cool, but that's also really bad. I don't know, I, like, I prefer the Oblivion Gates. If the Lord of Brutality and Domination is successful, he will merge our world and his own in a terrible plane realm. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. Wow. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Baal and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? Yes, I'm ready to, to go back. As you say. Ow. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. You've given me a lot to think about, seriously. What the heck? And there is so much to do. But know this, you will not walk this path alone. So what's, my, what's our next move? We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris, Titanborn? Lyris sacrificed her own freedom Lyris. to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. All right, so what do I do in the meantime? Minamarco's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. All right, I'll see what I can do. Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. Yes, I will rest. contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. Alright, old man. Yay, got some stuff. And that will be it for today, because uh, that was just a long history lesson. So anyway, thank you guys so much for taking time watching this video. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe, please. Leave a like if you like the video. Leave a comment behind if you want to talk about it. And I'll see you guys in the other video.